James Milan is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for this beautiful Barbera coming from Italy. I love Barbera, and it's one of these wine varieties that uh, I don't drink a lot of. I definitely crave a beautiful Barbera, and uh, I love the dry characterization of this wine. So I got this wine at Dig. It's one of my favorite uh, wine shops in San Francisco. It's very small, but uh, really nicely assorted. So I love this uh, bottle label here. It's called Fuso Barbera, and I think it's extremely well done. This uh, really beautiful map in the background here, and a lot of factoids and information. I'll read some of that for you. And uh, I think this is really great because I think it's speaking to what people want to see. I definitely want to see this myself on a wine label. I really want to understand um, this wine, where it's coming from, and um, the things that come along with this wine. What, you know, where is it coming from? So, uh, Fuso, this is coming from Marca Obertenga Barbera. This is a 13% ABV wine. And uh, just some factoids here. I'll just read just a few, select a few. 100% Barbera. This is coming from the Marca Orbetenga. So it's about elevation. Uh, the Barbera is grown in between 8 to 1,000 feet above sea level. So this gives a YB Curious statement, which is this stretch of ancient soil from the Oligocene period 34 to 23 million years ago, made of sand and marl. So this is a, a soil that is very different from other Barberas grown in other regions around the world. And I think that's the point of difference of this wine, is uh, really going back to what, what's the roots of this wine and why is it so different. And that's a beautiful characterization. Is it radically different from other Barberas? No, but it really gives a hint of where it's coming from in terms of the flavor and scent characterizations. It's absolutely captivating, and I love this wine. Here we go, scent characteristics first, flavor profile, and then the point score. So on this, I'm getting a really beautiful uh, coloration that is very close to what I'm seeing on camera, to what I'm seeing in person. And I think that's a really gorgeous characterization, this um, violet uh, cathedral stained glass window uh, color here. Scent characteristics include uh, cremini mushroom, truffle, plum orchard, aged leather, and strawberries. So here we go with the taste and give some flavor characterization and then the point score. Mm. Beautiful notes of blackberry, white pepper, violets, fennel, bay leaf, and red tea. I give this wine a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. I love the... Uh, uh, both restrained quality of the wine and also its uh, opulence and beautiful characterization of uh, Barbera from Italy. So it's not over the top, but it's really giving the uh, optimized characterization both in the scent and flavor profiles. So this wine again is a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. You can think of it as 93 points out of 100 points. If you like this video review, please give a like right here. Uh, any comments, questions, uh, you know, give a, a comment or question right here or, or whatever you want to say. Uh, I'd appreciate that very much. And also you can do that on my uh, Twitter handle, which is James the Wine Guy. You can subscribe to my video channel right here. And again, I'd appreciate that very, very much. And uh, more wines to come from all around the world. So thank you. Stay tuned and I appreciate your review. And I'm on most social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, and Pinterest. Salud.